me put on my old man glasses. Do I still look cool? Do I still look cool, guys? All right. This is Dominguez versus Nakamura. Nakamura playing the black pieces. And our position is going to look something like this. And for the dark pieces, is that right? And here is our position. So we've been asked by Mr. Silman, by I'm an, I am Silman. He earned that I am. Let's give the proper respect. Whose minor piece is better and how much better? Um, and my first thought is this. This is a light square bishop. All his pawns are on light squares, so he's bad. He's not going to be able to touch these with his bit, with his, with his, with his bishop. We can get all the pieces of eventually, I think, to dark squares, making his bishop pretty ineffective, an ineffectual bishop. Um, and I see the knight being able to come to life. So I'm thinking that. Of course, our knight's better. So let's go on to see the answer. And Mr. Summer says, bearing some, so you guys can hear this really well. Let's move the keyboard out of the way a bit. Bearing some strange tactical problem, this kind of structure combined with this specific minor piece battle is almost always one for the knight in both middle games and in games. Um, okay, so the knight is better. Um, there are several reasons why uh, black's game is so miserable. The bishop will be purely defensive since white's pawns will eventually be all on dark squares. It means the bishop can't ever attack them. White's enormous kingside space advantage. Um, so yeah, we also have a lot of kingside space advantage. I failed to mention that. Uh, chokes both the black bishop and king. Okay, um, another thing, this specific pawn structure allows a particular tactical idea uh, looked at in the notes that will always torture black from beginning to end. Okay, cool, so there's a tactical idea here, there's a tactical shot. And white's king can step on a dark square and be immune from the bishop, but black's king can always be kicked about by the nimble knight. So, um, yeah, so the knight here, with the board being all clogged up, the knight is looking like the better player, the better actor. Um, so I'm a curious to find out where the tactical shot is. If you're in the chat and you're looking at this and you think you see a tactical shot, let me know. Uh, we'll, we'll look into it. So this is going to be, is it white to play? It says white to play. So white has initiative. And so all we're looking, all in all, Someone says we're looking at a case of total knight domination. <laughs> so the knight is going to be our key actor here. Uh, the knight is definitely better than the bishop in this case. So let's take a look. He goes exploiting. Now this uh, particular diagram he says is for level 1400 to 1800. Um, so that's about me. I'm around 1800 is where I usually co is where I usually sit at when I'm trying. So that works for me. If anybody else is under 1800, then uh, but above, four, I, I guess you'll have to be at least 1400 to start kind of grasping this. But I think this is, 
I don't think you need a 1400 level to grasp this comp this this uh this this position. I think this is you know I think he did a fine job explaining it. So if you do have questions though and you're in the chat, please feel free. Please feel welcome to to ask any questions. We'll look at it. So so all in all then we've got these we've got space. we there's a tactical shot somewhere in this. Uh, where we're always going to torture White's king. It's going to choke out his bishop and his king. Um, he'll never be, we'll be able to keep uh, the king on dark squares and the light square bishop won't be able to get us. So all in all, that's what we're looking at. He explains the rating spread here for 1400 to 1800. He's saying, I'm hoping everyone appreciated the superiority of the knight. The real problem was in determining just how much better the knight really is. So in this position, the knight just is a lot better. So 44, uh, move 44 here is actually going to be a 3. So let's go ahead to the analysis board and see if the analysis board agrees. And it does. Uh, Stockfish is saying a 3. So we'll hit a 3. He goes first on the agenda. This is Mr. Summon, or I am Summon. He's saying uh, first on the agenda is to clear away the B4 pawn. Um, this in turn gives white access to c3. So this is going to give us access to c3 by clearing this pawn away, right? Um, while also preparing a timely b3, b4 push. So this is where we're going. We're going b3 to b4. We want this and we want this square. So uh, bishop takes a3 check. And Stockfish is saying to recapture with the knight. And we do have 45, knight takes a3. Okay, king to d8. And this agrees, king d8. Probably looking at this game is what I assume Stockfish is doing. Um, then knight to c2. This is knight to b1. But in the game... Uh, Rodriguez played knight to c2. King c8. It says bishop back, but in the game, c8 was played. And then 47, queen c3. So we're looking at trading the, the... White wants to trade to get those queens off the board to, I'm assuming, I think that's pretty wise to get rid of any tactical ideas and just really choke out that light square bishop and use our advantage, uh, which is going to be the knight, that nimble knight, like they said. So tricky knight, tricky knight. So we're getting rid of the queens. Good idea. It says, uh, someone says, exchanging queens allows the white knight to safely advance and strive for deep penetration in the enemy position. So let's see here, KB7. Uh, let's see here. KB7, uh, queen takes c7. King takes uh, c3, or excuse me. King takes c7. King c3. So we're getting it up in here. Uh, king b6. And b4. Here's our b4 move. Okay, so someone says White's king wants to move forward with the a uh, forward, and the a5 pawn was preventing this. Um, so thus the exchange, which will ultimately give White's king access to b4. Okay, so so White's king then will be keeping an eye on all three of these squares here, not allowing the king to come into our position. So it's here, but 50, move 50, it's A4. So he's going to go ahead and push that pawn in. Let's see here. Everything loses. This is Selman again. Someone says, everything loses. The most logical moves seem to be 50. A takes B4. So check, right? Or 50, B to B5. So um, B down here to B5. Um, both amount to the same thing, but white's king and knight combine to push black's pieces back 
and allow the decisive a decisive penetration into the heart of Black's position. Um, move 50, B to B, Bishop to B5 here, right? Um, then Knight to D4 into here. Um, so if we were on B5, we're checking the the uh, the bishop there. Um, then see here B to E8, so backing the, the bishop back up, right? And then let's see here Knight to B3. Okay, so we went pop, pop, and then let's see here A takes B4. Okay, so there. I mean, this was so B C B C six. That's like White demonstrate the following key tactical idea. Knight takes E six um, on move fifty four. So let's say fifty four. So let's let's take this back. Let's scooch back a move. Okay, because right here it does give White quite an advantage um, to push. So let's look at let's look at the idea here then. Um, so both about the same thing, but White's King and Knight combination pushes back pieces. So fifty B Bishop to B five. How do I get Bishop to B five? If do I have this in the wrong space? King takes C seven. King to B six. Okay, I had that wrong. I apologize, guys. That was king to b6. So let's uh, scooch back here. Yeah, king here, here. And then we said king to c7 is king to b6. Uh, king recaptures, king c3. King to B6. There we go. All right, that was my bad. And then B4. Now, even Stockfish is saying to take here. So Stockfish even wants us to, to take that piece. Back to Silman's analysis. Okay, so now move 50 B, uh, not taking, but actually Bishop to B5. Right, 51, knight to d4. Uh, let's see here, bishop back to b8, or e8, uh, followed by knight to b3. Okay, and then a takes b4 check. So, really all we've done here I mean, it's, it's clear that the king is not, I mean, that the Nakamura is pretty trapped here. Uh, but the tactical shot would be 54. Um, let's see here, 53. Da, 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 And then, okay, the tactical shot is dependent upon Black doing some pretty silly crap. So basically, in the book, someone's saying that this is worth going over and over uh, again. Um, you don't have to memorize anything, but he says what he wants us to see is how perky the knight is and how it has the ability to attack pawns from a number of angles and also kick Black's king out of the white king's way. So... If we go back here, let's say to move 50, which was a4. So we hit went here, and then moves 50, Nakamura pushes the pawn. Knight to d4 is uh, what should be played. So. Knight's going to be able to get into the position here, and then Black can't move to b5. Um, 
and Black's bishop needs to constantly prevent knight uh, takes e6. So, up, uh, knight takes e6 here. So, king a6 is what was played in the game. Fifty-two king to b2, which Stockfish uh, agrees with. King to b6. King to a3, bishop e8. Knight to e2, which Stockfish agrees with. Um, bishop to b5. I'm looking to grab here. But we're going to put our own pressure there. That's going to be the only pawn that he's going to be able to pick up. Um, the knight to c3. Yeah. And black pretty much has this thing put away right here already with an advantage of two... 0.3 pawns. Um, I like it. So let's see here. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's have a little fun with this. Um, practice with the computer. So our turn. Um, we can get a hint or whatever. So what I'm thinking, like, why even give him this pawn? Why not just like take here? Or do we go ahead and move up? Because he's not going to be able to get down here, right? So we should just get to this uh, piece and take. And then I believe we're getting into... We have to figure out how to penetrate into their position now at this point against the computer so what do we need to do here to make use of this my first thoughts are posting hitting checks i'm not so sure about that though we have to get into here taking here on e6 you know, I understand this now. If we take here, it's going to allow the pawn to move uh, to move up. But he's staying back here to make sure that doesn't happen. So he's got us pretty good and blocked out. Now we're saying the computer's giving us 5.8. I mean, do we penetrate further into the position here? Because, I mean, I feel like this is our, our winning pawn. Six point two inaccuracy. Best was B five check. Okay, well we'll play it out the way we I played it. We've got a six point two advantage. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. We can't go to either of these squares. So maybe we are coming back this way. I can't get the king up here. 
almost like I have to. Okay, so it's saying there. It's cool with that. Whoa. Wh that was a blunder. Okay. So that's no good. It wants this. Yep. Now do we penetrate deeper into the position? We're at plus 11 at this point. Let me hit a check and then get here. Oh man. Plus 57? Mate and 18. Now he has to take. So we'll just uh, go deeper into the position here. Hit the check. We're good there. So, yeah, that's awesome. So the night. We saw how we were able to penetrate, just like someone talked about uh, with that. And then there was that tactical shot to take that pawn. He he couldn't he couldn't capture back with the pawn because he knew it would instantly turn into a queen. So um, wow, that was pretty awesome. I liked that. So there's lots more night tactics followed it. Um, someone talks about in the book. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we did some pretty fun stuff there. I liked it. Okay, so that was the last puzzle for Bishop versus Knight chapter. Now we're into part three, Rooks. So um, no reason really to get into the Rooks now, but that was pretty cool. So we can, we can see um, that... Sometimes knights are definitely better than bishops. Um, this is the case uh, here. So, so th that was pretty fun, uh, you know, looking at how to do that, like getting some perspective from Soman and then um, and then examining the position and fi and figuring out, hey, our our knight was a lot better there. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a quick break hit real fast here, and I'll get set up for a tournament. So I'll be right back. Thank you guys for joining.